Commodore, don't you think that... What you now seem to hear, Captain Kirk, are my thought transmissions. The Commodore was never aboard your vessel. His presence there and in the shuttlecraft was an illusion. Mr. Spock had related to us your strength of will. It was thought the fiction of a court-martial would divert you from too soon regaining control of your vessel. Captain Pike is welcome to spend the rest of his life with us, unfettered by his physical body. The decision is yours and his. Even if regulations are explicit, you could have come to me and explained. Ask you to face the death penalty, too. One of us was enough, Captain. Yes? Message from Starbase 11, sir. Received images from Talos 4. In view of historic importance of Captain Pike and space exploration, General Order 7, prohibiting contact Talos 4, is suspended this occasion. No action contemplated against Spock. Proceed as you think best. Sign Mendez J.I. Commodore, Starbase 11. Chris, do you want to go there? Mr. Spock. Do you care to take Captain Pike to the transporter room? See him off. Thank you, sir. For both of us. Uh, Mr. Spock, when you're finished, please come back and see me. I want to talk to you. This regrettable tendency you've been showing lately towards flagrant emotionalism. I see no reason to insult me, sir. I believe I've been completely logical about the whole affair. Captain Kirk? Pleasant. 